All right, y'all. So I know you had a few questions about the MPC Studio 2 and if it worked in other DAWs, like let's say FL Studio or Logic or whichever DAW that you're using. Well, it does, and I'll show you how. So let's say you're using FL Studio. I have an instant of it open here. Now, the way how it's installed on your computer is this. You have the VST version, or you might have the audio unit or the VST3 version of the um, program, the MPC Studio. So how it works is like this. I'll go ahead and search for MPC. It'll show up. So as you can see, right here it says a VST64. I try to use that with FL Studio. Now I'll drop it in here. And it will go ahead and open up the MPC Studio program, which will allow you to use the MPC Studio 2 hardware inside of FL Studio. It's just like using any other VST that you're using inside of FL. The way how it works like this. You can control the MPC program with the MPC Studio hardware. Like, let's say you want to see the samples. The well, sample. So as you can see, you can actually click on each one. I'll go ahead and load up the samples and show you. And it will bring up the sample board here. And as you can see, the kit's loaded there. I can load it up on the MPC Studio, and then I can actually go ahead and use it. So as you can see, you can use the um, MPC software inside of FL Studio. Now, what will happen is it will let you go ahead and record whatever you're recording inside of the MPC Studio. Let me show you an example here. I'm just going to do something real quick and I'll show you. If you're an FL user, this will be easy for you to understand and use. So you'll go ahead and you can hit, you know, record here. Now in FL Studio, you have to set the tempo. The tempo only works inside of FL Studio. As you can see, you can't change it here. Um, the tap tempo doesn't even work in here. Everything you have to control outside of the MPC Studio software. So like if you want to change the tempo, the metronome, anything else inside here in the track, you have to do it outside in FL Studio or whichever DAW that you're using. So something simple like this here, you're gonna hit record and then you're gonna hit play on the space bar on your keyboard. Three, four. All right, so we just did something real simple here. I'm just gonna show you how it actually works. I'm gonna go ahead and pull this over. And we're just gonna make this a two bar loop. Just see this real simple here. So we'll go ahead and play it. get this pattern out of here let's say you just want the audio you can hit where it says right here it says export audio and what it will do is render the audio of what you just played in MPC studio you can also export the MIDI as you can see it says export MIDI here but we're just gonna use the audio for now so I'll go ahead and pull that out I will drop that in All right and we'll go ahead and get that in two bars so we'll go ahead and just play the song here we can actually close this in the meantime So as you can see, you have the audio from the MPC that we just played, the pattern that you just made here inside of the MPC. And what you can do is actually go ahead and arrange that or and actually build more from it. Or you can separate them. You don't have to do your drums all on the same, you know, on the same pattern. You can actually do your snares, then go to the next track, do your hi-hats, do your 808s, do your kicks, or however you please to do it. But that pretty much goes the same for pretty much any DAW that you're using with the um MPC studio program you can actually you know export your audio and your MIDI to your official DAW like let's say you're using logic or FL studio like I'm using here now in one of my other videos I'm gonna show you how I actually use it inside of logic it's a lot more easier to me to handle inside of logic I mean I use FL studio sometimes just to make certain patterns or certain things that I use in FL studio that I can in other DAWs but one thing I want you to keep in mind when it comes to using this program here, the MPC Studio, and you want to use a controller, remember, you have to treat this program here like a VST. That's the main takeaway that you have to deal with when it comes to this program. You have to treat it like a VST. You can go in here, build your patterns and everything, and then go ahead and export all the sounds here. That's pretty much what other people do when you buy all these loop packs and drum kits and everything. 
and you get the WAV files, they're just actually creating it in another software. It may be FL, maybe Logic, maybe Ableton, or probably MPC Studios. Who knows where they're actually making it from? But at this point, I'm just showing you how you actually can get your patterns or your sounds or whatever you create in MPC Studio inside of the DAW that you're using, whether, like I said, Logic, FL Studio, whatever is it that you're using. So that's pretty much it. What I'll do in one of my other videos, I'll show you how I actually cook up with the MPC. I should drop that soon anyway, but I'm gonna show you how I actually cook up in the MPC and then move everything over to like my official DAW and have everything working in a range of song where I can say, okay, this beat's completely finished. All right, so any question, tips, or anything you wanna learn about this program, definitely go ahead and hit me up in the comment section. I'm always looking forward to answering all your questions and everything. But in the meantime, y'all stay safe, continue making them beats, banging them out, and look out for my cook-up video, you know, and let me know what y'all think of that. Until then, peace.